Hello everyone and welcome to some more F1 My Team. Today we're here for the Italian Grand Prix round number 10 of the season. In the background we have a marketing department event regarding race weekend merchandising which we went ahead and accepted. If you haven't seen the previous episode guys, go check it out. The Dutch Grand Prix at Zanvoort, a race where only 8 cars finished. That's what I'm going to say. Go check it out. Link in the top right. Before we jump into potential spoilers, of course, this weekend here at Monza and start talking about the championship. Worth noting, this is the final week of F1 2021 as a game before we move on to the new game next week. So very excited about that. If you're going to enjoy this qualifying session, leave a like and subscribe as we then jump into the race after that and see if we can extend our championship lead, which by the way, sits at around 70 points plus nearly three race wins. That's how big the gap is right now, and we are comfortably leading the championship. Max, of course, has had a rough run this season. He's had a couple of DNFs, and that's hurt him quite badly in the championship. You know, it, it's shown. And uh, the last one in Zanville was a really big moment for us uh, as we won that race, and it really helped pull away in the championship, and it was a massive blow for Max. So at the minute, we've got pretty much three race wins in our pocket, so we could win this title with three races to spare, as things stand right now, this is round 10 of 16. So, if we extend our lead even more this weekend, things are going to look even more difficult for Max to, you know, reclaim his crown. In the meantime, though, Q1 is underway in the background. We set our first lap of 116.5. Only P10 for now, though, so I went for a second consecutive push lap, as the tyres don't really overheat around here that much up to the line and we're two and a half tenths up and it's going to move us into the top eight not as much as i hoped for to be fair but still a decent improvement into a 16-2 i then went for a third consecutive push lap as the tires weren't overheating but through lesmo 2 i just ran a bit wide and then validated when i was half a tenth up so unfortunately that is going to be it for our first run hopefully that will be enough because i'm not going to go back out the gap to massachusetts is half a second the grid is pretty close, so half a second is quite a lot if we're talking these kind of gaps. And to be fair, our decision was made easy for us because Schwarzman was the only car to go out in the closing stages. So, yeah, similar to last season, I don't know what it is with this track with the AR a bit broken and they only go for one run, it seems like, in qualifying. So we managed to save a set of tyres and not go back out. Even still, the grid is really close. The Verstappen, though, setting the pace, Aitken MP13, as we now prepare Q2. Ahead of us, we have a Ferrari, I believe, and it's, you know, it's not super close, but far enough away, or close enough, more like, that it's a slight distraction in terms of, you know, my racing lines, and not being able to really focus where I want to be, and I'm trying to see if I can clear it here, which I just managed to, and that's Giovinazzi in his second race for Ferrari, who managed to get past eventually on the back straight, you can see here, we're two tenths up on Pierre Gasly through sector two, so... This is a decent little lap if we can, you know, successfully finish it. So a 16.2 is what we've done in Q1. That's going to be our reference as Ricardo sets the pace there with a 0 0.0. Out of the Parabolica, the Snappen 15.7 as we run across the line and set a 16.1, which is a PB for us. That is more or less what our final lap in Q1 would have been had we not invalidated. P5 at the time, we went back to the pits and eventually we got a shuffle down to P9. Jack Aitken down to P11 and Lance Stroll splitting us. But look at the gaps. We're not even safe by half a tenth. So we're going to have to go back out because we don't have a cushion. So we're going to have to burn another set of tyres on this second run. However, this is a minute and 35 to go. And I'm the only car on track. So I decided to slow down here and see. And it looks like only one car is taken to the track. And that's one of the Ferraris. So by process of elimination, one car on track. Worst way to finish P10, we're into Q3, so we went back into the pits and saved the set of tyres for our first Q3 run. And again, the AI didn't go out, really, really strange. Aitken out in P11, just outside the top 10, which is really unfortunate. And Verstappen setting the pace with a 15.7, which, phew, that's a pretty big lap, to be honest. I'm not sure if we'll get near that, but we'll give it our best shot. I know we can go a bit higher on the tyre pressures to help us improve a bit of the lap time. Here we are then, Q3, and we have a bit of a moment through Ascari, picking up floor damage as we get completely crossed up. The side pods have taken damage. You're going to feel some drag until you come in and let us take a look. 
and that was far from ideal. However, for the final run, I had one fresh set of tyres remaining, and I went quite a bit higher on the tyre pressures to give me a bit more grip, and we're going to go all out and gamble it all on one single lap. So let's jump into it. I'll let you guys enjoy the engine sound, and hopefully a decent lap at the end of it. Let's see if we try and break the 115s. Oh my days, what a lap. Absolutely insane. You can see my reaction. I was very happy with that. And because the AI didn't go out for a second run, that is it. Pole for the Italian Grand Prix by one thousandth of a second over Max Verstappen. As fine of a margin as you like. Spot on. Pole for us. What a result. And we deliver an absolutely perfect lap on the very last run of qualifying. And again... Our qualifying form this season has been on fire. The best it's been in the entire My Team series. And it shows once again as we deliver pole in emphatic fashion. So job done for us. Let's see if we can try and convert this pole into a race win. Either way, work to do for Red Bull and work to do for Aitken to try and get himself into the mix. Either way, we're starting from pole. Let's try and convert that into a race win. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Martinez lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Ricardo, Norris, Charles Leclerc and Stroll, Giovinazzi, Bottas, Sonoda and Nicholas Latifi, Aitken, Russell, Esteban Ocon and Gasly, Matsushita, Mick Schumacher and Guan Yu Zhou and Callum Islet. Lundgaard, Mazepin, Schwartzman, and Daniel Tictum. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Now we have got our work cut out for us this race. We're starting from pole. However, it's not going to be easy. I feel like we hit an absolutely perfect lap in qualifying yesterday. I don't know if this is the true pace of the car. So the jury is still out, and I think Max is still going to be very hard to beat around here. Nonetheless, Ron Paul, if we can win this one, that would just be huge for the championship. I mean, we're already, I think, 71 points ahead. If we win this, it would stretch the gap to 78, possibly 79 if we get a fast lap. Strategy, though, for this one is going to be a soft to medium, very simple one-stop, no real dramas. Fuel-wise, we're going to run a minimum, and yeah, the target here is to hopefully hold on to P1, if not, worst ways, P2, and try to run with whoever is in the lead. Probably Max Verstappen, let's be honest, and see if we can try and match up with him. So let's get into it. Leave a like if you're going to enjoy. It should be intense, but hopefully fun, and also very quick, as this is the fastest circuit on the F1 calendar. Here we go. Hopefully a decent race and 25 points to collect at the end of it. Five lights are on. Good start. We get to move across straight away and cut off Verstappen. Ricardo with the start. Into turn one we go. Side by side. Oh my god. Ricardo goes straight into my side pod there. Contact. Possible damage for Daniel maybe. Either way. Ricardo getting the elbows out. We're going to fire back though. Straight away. Look at that. The overspeed on the straight there. 
Back into P1 as we take the chicane. Verstappen down to P4, by the way. So Max having a bit of a poor start, which is crucial for the championship. We're going to try and break away. DRS is so, so key around here. If you can break that, you're loving life. And Ricardo's dropping back, which maybe is a sign he's got wing damage from that contact into turn two. I mean, he did just drive into the side of me, so I wouldn't be surprised. But we've got the gap already, which is crucial for us. 1.7 and growing. Lando needs to get a bite, so does Verstappen. These guys need to pass Ricardo, who's a mobile chicane at the moment. But what a great first lap for us. Decent start, decent recovery. And we're now driving away as Verstappen is up to P2. Norris down to P5. It's all shuffling around back there. But Verstappen is back with the second place, so he's going to be dragging the pack along. But crucially, we have a two second gap with DRS enabled next lap. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. DRS now enabled. Verstappen has gone already clear of the cars behind. He's broken DRS on Lance Stroll. He went four tenths quicker than me on that last lap. So Verstappen showing some pace. Let's see if we have a response gap down to 1.6 already. Oh, yellow flag. Green flag. Yellow behind. I think it's Giovinazzi. No, it isn't. Oh, it's Verstappen. Oh my God, Verstappen. Is he out of the race? Verstappen's out. That's it. That could be the championship right there. Oh my God, Verstappen with the mechanical issue is out of the Italian Grand Prix. And we're now chilling comfortably in P1 this race with a three second gap to Antonio Giovinazzi in P2. Ricardo also way down the order of damage, of course, from that lap one incident. So Red Bull having an absolute shocker here this race. Oh my God, what a bombshell. At the moment, my pace isn't spectacular, but luckily Giovinazzi, Norris, Sonoda, all those guys are battling. So when they do gain time on me, they're actually taking it back off because of their battling. So the gap is staying about three seconds. But Giovinazzi is really impressive, man. Since so moving to Ferrari. Showing great pace as we have a bit of moment there. Gonna keep chipping away, but I don't have a lot more than this. Again, kind of like qualifying, really. I didn't think I had that lap in me. We'll try and go for the fast lap later on, but. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. We'll go lap 11, play it safe. We'll just stick to the strategy. First warning for track limits there. Just running a little bit wide with some understeer. Gap now, four seconds to the cars behind us. We start to now make some progress. I've managed to find a bit of pace. Also, a bit of fuel burn starting to kick in now. Car's not as heavy anymore. Speaking of fuel, we're still two laps under, so I need to try and start saving a little bit if I can. I'm not really saving as much as I thought. We'll give it a few laps yet and see how we get on. There could still be a safety car or something, which would really help, but we need to just watch out on the fuel. I'm going to go long and not pick this lap. I'm going to stay out as long as I can and let eight compete. I don't want to affect his race one bit because he's battling traffic and pit stops could be key here. So I do not want to get in his way. He's got the advantage of the last pit box, which usually doesn't get held up by traffic. So we'll let Jack maximize his pit stop window. So we'll stay out as long as I need to. There we go, eight can finally pit. Jack is in the pit, Jack in the pit. Yep, so happy to see that. To be fair, he actually gained half a second on me on his end lap. Hopefully it goes for mediums, that'd be perfect and not the hard tar. We're gonna box this lap though. Okay, let's get this one and only stop out of the way. Box, box. We'll go for the medium and take it to the end. That's a bit wide. Oops. Anyway, easy does it. No need to stress or feel pressured here. Let's just play nice and safe. Let's not speed. Lovely. Right, medium's on. Let's get this out of the way and then we can just get back to doing what we were doing. I do believe Aiken has gained a bit from that pit stop, looking at the minimap. I can't fully tell, but he's still in that midfield battle though. Here we go. Complete, go now. 3.1, a little bit slow, but that's okay. Not really a threat. Giovinazzi, P2. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Looks like he's going to lock that one down as well because he's pulling away from Lando. So, fair play, Giovinazzi in Ferrari's home race. Putting on a show for the fans and turning up big time. Uh oh. Pierre leaving the pit exit and getting right in our way. And former teammate. 
having a disaster race for Ferrari in P21. Luckily, now he gets out of the way, but that was a bit of a time loss. Thank you, Pierre. Let's see, personal best incoming. Will it be enough for a fast lap? Not quite, 17-7. This lap at this point in time is a 1 minute 17.5. Hmm, not sure if I'll fully get that, but I'll give it a shot in a couple laps time. But I'd like to get the extra point if I could. Okay, Shul is back on target. And right now, we're on for a personal best. There are, say, possible fastest lap. We're nearly two tenths up. Let's see if we can nail the final corner. Oh, that was pretty good up until the exit. But we're still up. Let's see if it's enough. Up to the line. Damn, not enough. 17.5 and we missed out. Ugh, we'll keep trying. Okay, this surely will be it. That was a great lap. Great final corner. There we go. Let's see if that's enough to secure the point. Let's bring the car home now. Here we go then. Fuel on target. Everything looks good to go. Just got to nurse the car through these final few corners. And we're home for... A massive race win. This will stretch our lead in the championship to nearly 100 points over Verstappen. Nearly four race wins through the parabola canal. And job done. Hopefully also a fast lap to come with it. But across the line we go and we win in Monza. That's three wins in a row. Unbelievable work. A hard-fought win today, then, after a very difficult race. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. There we go then, an absolutely massive win here today. The biggest one of the season possibly because of the context and it means that the gap to Verstappen now is so big it may not be recoverable. There's your top 10 though, Giovinazzi P2 in his second race for Ferrari. What performance from him. Lance Stroll P3 ahead of Bottas, Sonoda, Norris, Latifi, Ocon, Russell and Aitken scoring the final point. Ricardo missing out on the top 10 there in P11 after of course that lap one incident with us. And then Lungard, Zhou Guanyu, Mick Schumacher, further down, Max Rashita, Leclerc, Eilat, Tictum, Schwarzman, Mazepin, Gasly and Verstappen. The only retirement from this race. Standings after, I believe, 10 or 11 rounds, 10 rounds, I think, we're 97 points clear. It's a massive gap. Verstappen is in big trouble and Aiken down to P7 as Bottas overtakes him for P6. So... Overall, a great day in the office, and Red Bull didn't score any points. Therefore, our lead in the Constructors is now 76 points. So, it's looking pretty damn sweet. I can't lie. We might actually do it this year. But, I'm not going to speak too soon. Jack needs to improve. The last race he crashed out today, he scored only just one point. It's not good enough. Since we renewed his contract, he's dropped off the pace massively, and I hate the way that happens every single time with teammates in my team. So, yeah, guys, that is it for me here today. Hopefully you enjoyed the race. It was short, but that's the way it goes sometimes. If your main rival retires, there's not much to do. But leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more daily F1 content on my channel, guys, as we're on the run to 100k subs. And yeah, my voice is going, so we're going to call it there. Shout out to the members as always. Finally, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care, and it's goodbye from me.